State of the game has just finished for Division 2 this week. And we've already had a maintenance this week. I believe it was yesterday. But they said on State of the game, because they want to fix a lot of things, there is also going to be a maintenance tomorrow. I believe it's going to be running normal time, which is 8.30 until 11.30 a.m. in the UK. So it's going to be a three-hour maintenance, the normal time. They haven't said anything about the time being different. The raid keys, so when you're doing the normal difficulty raid... There has been a bug for a little while now with that. They tried fixing it for the maintenance that's just passed and they wasn't able to do it. There was ways around it, but apparently that issue is going to be completely fixed tomorrow. There was a problem with the crafting bench. They've just made it possible to upgrade it to where you can craft 500 gear score items. There was a problem where there wasn't a button prompt, so you couldn't actually upgrade, but apparently that was already been fixed. So you should now be able to go to your crafting bench if you haven't already, fulfill the requirements and upgrade to 500 gear score. Forums and Reddit will now have a complete list of blueprints so that there is no confusion as people have done control points without being awarded a blueprint. There's been cases where it said you've earned a blueprint but there's been no description to it. But then sometimes the blueprint is actually still there. It just doesn't say it is. So if you go and check your crafting bench, a blueprint might pop up. Although sometimes you're not going to be awarded a blueprint. If you're missing like 12, you go do a control point. It might not show up because there are certain things like side missions in the game where there's basically a blueprint locked behind it. Like that's the only thing specifically that you can do to earn certain blueprints. I don't know how bad these have been affecting Xbox and PS4. But loading times on PC are being sorted out because apparently it was like 5 minutes upwards. Someone mentioned to me in the comments that on the PS4 they had like 20 minute loading times. And they were questioning as to why I was getting into the dark zone so fast and things like that. There's been no mention of console, just PC but apparently the loading times are being worked on. At the moment there is absolutely no plan to increase the stash space. A lot of people have been asking about it but they don't plan to do anything with it yet. There's a little bug, I don't think this has been fixed in game at the moment, but when you stand outside the base of operations it tells you your upgrades and stuff. For the theatre settlement, it's saying that there's three out of four, it's doing it for me as well, but according to Chris that's only a visual bug, so there shouldn't be anything different within the game, it's literally just that the number says three instead of four. A lot of people are moaning about the Shepherd rank system, when you respond to a call for backup, saying that a lot of players aren't giving you endorsements for going and helping them. But then again, there's apparently not a clear way to see how to actually endorse another player. So it could just be the fact that the player doesn't know how to give you an endorsement, but they are grateful and they would like to help you level up your Shepherd rank. That wasn't actually mentioned in State of the Game. I just saw a lot of people talking about it. I've had comments saying that they give up with it. They've been helping players. The players haven't said that they've done a good job or whatever. So people aren't actually ranking up with their Shepherd rank. And it's just a possibility that people don't actually know how to do it. Unbreakable, the talent, was intentionally nerfed in the Occupied Dark Zone so that it works in a normalised way. But that's not actually been mentioned in the patch notes. One thing I would personally like to see is the Eagle Bearer have a Dark Zone nerf. When you're running that, you are pretty much a god in the Dark Zone. It's such an overpowered gun. And in my honest opinion, I think they need to do a lot of work to the PvP. I haven't encountered too many players in there, but I've done a couple of videos of going in there and I know I'm trash at the game, I suck or whatever. But in order for it to be fun, I think they need to do better balancing. I don't know what else they could do because the Eagle Bearer should be usable in the Dark Zone. It's a gun, it's a part of the game. But at the same time, I feel they should do something to make it better balanced. I don't know what they could do. But it would be nice to see players that have the Eagle Bearer not just abusing the Eagle Bearer in the Dark Zone. The dev team are now starting an Elite Task Force workshop where people can actually head out to the studios in Sweden and help the dev team structure things within the game. You're basically becoming a game tester, but because you're a part of the community, it would be better than hiring someone that doesn't know anything about the division kind of thing. There's no date yet when that's going to be happening, but you can apply on their website. I think there was a link put in the chat during the live stream. I don't actually have a link for it, but I'm pretty sure if you search something like Elite Task Force Division 2, something would pop up. And State of the Game is taking a break for a few weeks. I don't understand why they're doing this right now, because for the last couple of weeks, everyone has been complaining about the RNG in the game. So the random number generator for the gear you get, the drops you get, 
the roles that come with it, like your stats. And Hamish has said for the last two weeks that they're going to be talking about RNG in the very near future. But now they've just come out and said that they're going on a break for a few weeks. Obviously, they deserve a break. They work on the game every single day, even if it's not up to people's standards. They work on the game every single day. They deserve to take a break and just sit back and let the community get on with their thing. Everyone needs time to themselves in this world. You can't expect the developer just because they've made a game to sit there and do everything you want them to do. But I don't understand why Hamish has said that RNG is going to be spoken about and then literally just said that they're going on a break for a few weeks. So anyone wanting to know anything about the RNG, there is no plans to do anything at the moment. We know the loot is going to be looked at in title update 6. But as far as I'm aware, if there's any talk about it, it's not going to be for like the next month or so. So there's a little bit of a wait, but hopefully one day the RNG will suit a lot more players better. I know the P416, the classic M1A, there are a lot of guns and stuff that have, the, like, they don't necessarily have, but they seem to have lower drop chances than other things. And then obviously grinding for min-max builds and things is it's hard, it's difficult, it's supposed to be a grind, but sometimes it just feels as though it's a bit too much having to grind for 100 hours plus just to get a tiny little bit of an improvement on your build. Other than that, everything is going smooth. I'm, I think they're working on the bugs. I haven't encountered too many. I've had the raid key thing when I run the raid. And I've also got the theatre settlement showing up three out of four upgrades when I actually have all four. They mentioned in State of the Game that if there's any problems, like they say this all the time, if there's any problems with the games, you've got the Ubisoft support. Although there's been multiple occasions where I've tried submitting a ticket and it's just a forever, like an infinite loading circle. So my ticket doesn't actually go through. But you can use Reddit, you can use forums, you can use Twitter, there's loads of different things. And a lot of players, myself included, want things to go better with this game. At the moment, Episode 1 Title Update 5, they've been amazing. Not a massive fan of the Discovery Raid difficulty. Not a huge fan of the Expedition because the second branch that opened seems to be a copy-paste of the first branch. It would have been nice to have different mechanics and stuff in there instead of going to a terminal, standing inside a square, doing puzzles and things like that. I'm hoping the third branch, when it opens up in about six days or so, I'm hoping that has different mechanics to end it off. But if there's something you want them to change, you need to let them know. And you can do that on any social media that they're a part of. You can join their Discord and stuff like that. I sent them a tweet about the RNG. My personal opinion is what I think they should do. I don't know how they would do it because I'm not a developer. I don't know coding and stuff like that. But I think with the loot RNG, what they should do or try to do is increase the stat rolls that you can get. So instead of having... 9% skill haste drop on something you would have like a minimum of like 15 or something like that Not necessarily completely cut out the 9% drops, but increase the chance of getting higher percentages on your stats Balance the gun drop chances so the P416 will drop as often as a vector or something like that And also for players that are world tier 5 that have hit 500 gear score lower the percentage of purple drops because not necessarily for gear, I'd say purple weapons. Just because purple gear comes in very handy when you're recalibrating, the purple gear, because it has less stats on it, it's only got two out of three, or like some gear can have four, but I mean, it's got less stats. So because it has less, it's got a chance of getting a higher roll. So for example, if your high-end chest can only get a maximum of a 40% skill haste drop, you could find a purple that has 50%. You can recalibrate that purple onto your high-end, and have better rolls. I'm sure you guys know exactly how it works, but I think they should lower the amount of purple guns that drop because purple guns aren't as helpful as purple gear. But then obviously, they're developers, they know what they're doing. They have to try and work all this stuff out, listen to the community, try and keep us all happy, blah, blah, blah. That is gonna do the video. I've been rambling on for a little bit, but that's all the stuff I picked up from State of the Game. Let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm hoping to be back very, very soon with a grind for the BTSU gloves. I've currently put in like five hours trying to get them. Had zero luck. So I'm hoping that RNG gods wake up for me, give me the drop. But for now, that's going to do it. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you soon. Thank you for watching.